men are also more free in a country where we have a president who stands up for things like access to abortion care. I'm so proud of Pete Buttigieg for telling the truth on the white homos for Kamala call because the absolute truth is that the only, there's one group of people who benefit from abortion access, and that is predatory men. That's men who want to prey on women, men who want easy access to women and to physical intimacy without even the possibility of ever having to take any kind of responsibility for their actions or to bear the consequences for their actions. That's the only group who benefits from abortion access because good men, men who want to or at least are willing to take responsibility for their actions to be fathers, um, they don't benefit from abortion access. And women don't benefit from abortion access. No women, including the ones who are pro-abortion. Because at the end of the day, men aren't the ones going through the abortion. And women know this. It's, it's why they say no uterus, no opinion, which is a, a foolish thing to say because abortion affects men and women both, as I just said. Uh, but women know that they're the only ones who might ever have to go through an abortion. Men don't have to. So even with the mass proliferation of abortion, even with our veritably pro-abortion culture, even with easy access to abortion, it doesn't change the reality for women that we don't have access to free, consequence-free sex. It doesn't exist for us. Because once you are pregnant, there's no magical third option where the baby, your offspring, just ceases to exist. You either go through with having the child and you give him or her up for adoption and you deal with the emotional pain of that, of bonding with your child in utero and then parting ways with him, or you go through with having the child and you raise him. And of course, you know, parenthood is, is the most impossible job in the world, but the most worthy one, or you go through with the abortion. And that is not consequence free. It really isn't. And I'm getting emotional over this, not because it's something I've ever experienced, because it's not, but because of the stories that I've heard and just the lies that we tell women, that we sell them this idea that abortion is really no different than a teeth cleaning. And, you know, it might be a little bit uncomfortable, but you'll feel better after. That's, that's not the reality of it. I, the, the amount of times I've heard a woman say, I've carried my abortion with me for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. I feel guilty that I have children later on in life when I was more prepared. I feel like I'm not worthy of being a mother. All of these things that nobody wants to talk about. The reality is, ladies, that consequence-free sex does not exist for us. And I'd argue it doesn't exist for men either, but that's a whole separate video. The fact still remains that they're not going through with the childbirth. They're not going through with the abortion. And it's not fair, but just having mass abortion, abortion everywhere, abortion rights, enshrining abortion in your constitution, that's not going to change biology and it's not going to change reality. It's not going to make anything more fair. It is what it is. And in fact, childbirth and motherhood is, is the greatest gift in the world and the greatest calling in the world. So I'm not even saying that it's, it's not fair and it favors men, but it is what it is. So the only people in society who benefit from abortion access are men who want access to you and don't want to have to be beholden to you in any way or to a child and don't wanna to have to take responsibility for their actions. Because ladies, even when you choose abortion and shirk the responsibility of motherhood, you are taking on the consequences of the abortion. You're taking on the consequences of voluntarily becoming the mother of a dead child. It's not consequence free. The only people who get off consequence-free because abortion exists are men who don't want to be fathers.